everybody, it's Keenan Ocon, aka Keenan Vlogs, back with another video. So for today's video, I want to do top 5 anime games. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this right off the bat because my list is kind of biased. The only station I have is a PS3, so all these games are for PS3. The list will be going from 5, the worst, to 1, the best. So for number 5, I picked Bleach Soul Resurrection. This is a good game. It came out, I would say, like four years ago. It's another hack and slash where you can play as, as like 20 of the Bleach characters, all the visors and all the uh, captains. It's a pretty good game. My only hate with it is because um, like the, the graphics are kind of shit and the controls are kind of slow. I think just because the budget wasn't as good as they needed and it was probably because it's made in like back in the day. So I don't know. It could have been a better game if it was made today, I think. But the story mode is cool. The characters that you use is pretty much everyone you wanted. The only people that I couldn't play as that I really wanted to play as was like Chad. Yeah, that's about it, honestly. Just Chad. They fucked Chad over. Alright, the next game. I know a lot of you guys know about this series, the Ultimate Ninja Storm series. There's a lot of these games out. I would say about like six or seven of them. The reason I picked the second one is because, A, it has the best story mode. It goes from the beginning of Shippuden to the pain fight, which is my favorite fight. So it covers my favorite parts of Shippuden. Second is because the story mode. The story mode has, like, you press buttons with timers, and there's so many different, like, mini games in it. It doesn't feel like just a regular fighting game story mode. There's, like, a lot to it. The third reason is because the controls and the gameplay... After the second one, they changed the controls to where you can only replace out of an attack like five times and you have to wait for your re replacements to recharge. But in two and one, you just have to tap R2 as fast as you can. You can teleport as many times as you're able. So I feel like it's just more smooth and it's not based on who keeps their replacements. It's based on who's just better at the game. So I think it's probably the best one they've dropped. Third one. This one also gets a lot of hate, J-Star's Victory Versus. If you don't know what this is, this is a game made strictly by Shonen Jump, where they have characters from all the anime. If you look closely, they got Luffy, they got Gon, they got Ichigo, they got Naruto, they got Suna, they even got Yusuke Urameshi, Goku, they got Jojo. It's crazy, they have every character you could think of. I, once again, just like the Bleach game, I feel like this game could have done a lot better if it had a higher budget. But just the fact that you can verse all your favorite anime characters in history against each other is just like a dream come true. Literally, when I was a kid, I dreamed of a game like this, where you could just verse your favorite anime characters. So I'm really happy they dropped it. I thought they were going to drop a second one, but for the next time, they're coming out with a card game instead, I'm guessing because of the budget problem. But I mean, I'm still going to keep this game forever. It's a good game. Second to last, One Piece Pirate Warriors. This is another hack and slash by, like, like Bleach, but the gameplay is so much more smooth. The graphics are so much better. I think it's because it was made about three years after that Bleach game dropped, so it's pretty much like Bleach, but just ten times better. The only reason that I would say it has its faults and why it didn't make number one is because you can only play as, like, 13 characters. And there's characters in the game, like honestly, there's like 20 characters in the game that you fight or fight by your side, but even you can't use them. Like it's just, I'm guessing because they either ran out of time or once again they had a budget problem. A lot of these anime games, besides Dragon Ball Z, have huge budget problems, I'm guessing, just because they can't really get that pull for a budget because they don't have that hype around them. One Piece obviously is the most popular fucking manga in Shonen Jump, so they had a decent budget. I think this game turned out good. I'm about to buy the second one, and I might get a PS4 just so I can buy the third one. It's a fucking great game. That's why I won number two. For the last one, Raging Blast 2. I know a lot of people have been playing Xenoverse. The only thing I like about Xenoverse is that you can customize your own character, but besides that, Raging Blast beats it in every single category. The controls are so smooth, the characters are so tight. The only thing I wish it had is I wish it had a DLC for the Dragon Ball Super characters. Sadly, this was made before Super, so no Super characters are in it. Not even any GT characters. It just goes from the beginning of Z to the Majin Buu arc. But still, it's a great story. The story mode is nothing special. It's just going back to back with going through fighting challenges. Nothing too crazy. 
but it's still a really good game. It's probably one of my favorite. Uh, I want to just give an honorable mention that there's the JoJo games out, even though this didn't make my list because I couldn't get it on time. Uh, I'm about to get JoJo's All-Star Battle, which is kind of like Street Fighter, but it has all of the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure characters, so I'm really excited for that game. I was going to wait to make my list, but I'm not the biggest 2D fighter fan, so I already knew it probably wasn't going to make top five. Like, these games are all fucking great, so I knew they'd all probably beat it. But yeah, that's about it for my video. If you have any anime games that you think I should buy and invest in, uh, let me know in the comments, because these are the best I can think of to be real for PS3. Like, sub, and if you want to keep up with me, follow me on IG at Keenan Thanks for your time, and thanks for checking out my video. Have a good day, guys.